It was for freedom that Christ set us free, so be free and don't let slavery return. That's the words of the Apostle Paul. Talking to believers, people who have met Jesus will know that the invitation Jesus gives everybody everywhere is an invitation to freedom. That actually all of God's children were created to be free. So how is it that they're not free? How is it that oppression and slavery works its way back into people's lives? Even people who profess to follow God, still oppressed, still enslaved. How can we undo that and how can we get into the rhythm of freedom? One of the principles I've learned from the book of Exodus and studying how God's people got free from oppression is the idea of how we see people and how important that is, even in terms of seeing ourselves. How important our perspective, how important how we see people matters and how we live with people and how we relate to people. You know, a guy named Brian Zahn said this, an enemy is someone whose story you have not yet heard. That how we see people matters in terms of how we relate to people in the world. If we want to relate to people in the world without fear, without judgment, without prejudice, without oppression, we're going to have to change the way that we see. Nowhere is this more evident in the Exodus story than when Moses is floated down the river, you remember? And the princess, the, the daughter of Pharaoh, finds this basket and, and, and opens the lid and sees this little tiny baby. Now, what she probably had heard from the regime, from Egypt, from the dictator, from Pharaoh himself, is probably a whole bunch of information. Probably like those Israelites aren't really human. They're out to get us. They're the enemy. They're terrifying. They're going to uproar. You know, they're going to do this, all kinds of things that would have viewed her uh, vision of who the Israelites are, would have skewed them, would have made her afraid of them. But here's this encounter this princess has just washing in the river, finding this little tiny baby, opening up the lid and seeing the face of an Israelite child. In that moment, her heart is moved towards him. And literally Moses, the name Moses means drawn out of the water because the princess bends down and takes Moses out of the water and takes her and raises him in the palace. That day, I'm not sure that it doesn't, the story doesn't tell us the particulars of how she did it. We know that uh, Miriam was able to summon Moses' mother and she was a part of the upbringing of Moses. We're not sure how that worked out with Pharaoh, how Pharaoh felt about having an Israelite in the palace. We're not sure about the details. All I know is that day that princess made a choice and she changed the way she viewed the Israelites. And the way she viewed the Israelites changed the narrative of the Israelites' story. See, the way you see people can change everything.